Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Frostpunk. We are doing a lot better than we have been. We've got a huge pile of coal here now, over here. Well, that's, that's, that's Robert York, he's, he's working coal, but... No, we've got a huge coal pile over here. We've got... that's being worked from the people in here. We've got 10 of 10 gatherers there, busy gathering a whole load of coal. We've got more people over here who are gathering steel and coal from this pile here. So we should have loads and loads of coal coming in now. We've got 241 coal now, which is... The numbers are going up. The numbers are going up quite nicely, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got a limit of 900 coal there. 300 wood, 300 steel, 300 food, and 300 food rations. I'd like to be able to get more food rations, if possible. Um, but we, we sort of... Well, we don't have any more raw food at the moment. I've got 9 of 10 people working over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the engineer that's working in there out and we're going to put him to work over in here. So we've got an extra engineer. Actually, do I need the extra engineer in here? Uh, if you look at it like this, see what? We could put the engineer to work. Actually, no, we'll just put the... We'll put a worker. No, I'll tell you what. No, I'm not going to do that either. This one here doesn't take engineers, does it? No employees available. If I, if I, let me just come out of there and I'll drop that engineer down. And um, there in the coal thumper, I can put in an extra engineer. Oh no, no, hang on, no. I was at uh, the, the wood. Can we not? I put one in there. There, I'll put an engineer working in the sawmill, and then over here we'll put in an extra. No, I, no, I didn't want to do that either. I want to put him over there on food, so he's on raw food. And we've also got the hunters there. They've got 15 of 15 people. Now, what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to take care of the ill. We've got to provide treatment for all the people. I've got the treatment places. We've, we've got two of these here. We've got um, a medical post there and we've got a medical post over there. Both of them are working at maximum capacity and I'm hoping that's going to help. We've got two gravely ill people, 29 sick people. What I want... I'm... I'm actually, let's, let's uh, start play. There we go. Um... What I want to do, this one here, this is fine. We can just keep the one engineer, uh, the one person working in there. Closed at this time of day. Oh, it's because it's evening. It's evening time at the moment. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to increase the quality of the houses. We're going to need this fairly soon. Food, I'm hoping that's going to be taken care of very soon. We need to be able to feed all of the hungry. We've got one day, 21 hours. I've got the food rations. I've got plenty of food rations for people. It's just whether or not going to eat and eating. Right, they're both being taken care of. That should no longer be an issue. And then we'll get some hope. Rise, discontent should fall because I fulfilled a promise. So as soon as that has been done. And then I've got these 29 ill people. Right, most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Hope rises. Excellent. It's got only gone up a little bit. But that's, this is good. This is really, really good. This is this is the sort of thing that we want. Right, and on here at the moment, we are researching the generator. We need to be able to increase that so that these houses out here are able to get a little bit more heat because at the moment, um, they're not very good. It's, it's chilly out there in those tents. And in the research area, in the technology tree, we, we're working on the generator upgrade and we've got improved heaters, overdrive couplings. We need to improve heat. I've been told... That what we're experiencing at the moment, this minus 30 degrees, is a balmy and warm temperature. And we will look upon this fondly in the distant future. So I'm keeping that in mind. And I'm wanting to upgrade things quite considerably. Now, a resource depot over there uh, will be able to store 50% more resources. So we can get more resources in, which means we'll be able to reserve more coal, which I think would be really handy. Um, the sawmill upgrade, that would be really good as well. Exploration, we can take more scouts if we go in there. Food over here, really we got the bunkhouse, it's uh, food and shelter, yeah, bunkhouse. Allows us to build a bunkhouse, a dwelling for 10 people is adequately protected from the weather. This is much better, this, this allows us a, a much better dwelling here. And then we really, we're wanting to start increasing the quality of things so we can get down to an infirmary. Um, Infirmary mechanization, healthcare insulation, this sort of things. We, we want better things here. Hunting tactics, that sort of stuff. So really we want this. 75 wood and 25 steel to do that. The bunkhouse, I'm thinking really the bunkhouse ought to be next so that we've got a lot more um, warmth and stuff available. 
But my big issue at the moment is I don't have very much steel. I've got a bit of steel wreckage over there. There's only 60 on it. Um, we've got this gathering post here that's working. And... Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of coupled up with some of the other stuff. But, I mean, none of it's working at the moment. So we'll go to here. The 28, and we have one gravely ill person. Now, we have two gravely ill people. Because, of course, everybody's getting really ill. So let's speed up time. There we go. Scouts have reached the sturdy shelter. Let's um, put that right down, and we're going here. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Food rations, wood, and steam cores. So explore, search the area. There. Yeah. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Site discovered, Steel Bridge. Okay, so we get a, um, a steam core. We get rations. And now if we go to these guys... Oh, no. Uh, right, lost XP. Uh, we've done that one. So we've got the steel bridge right here. Trail goes over an elegant steel bridge that close, uh, crosses a huge ravine. The bridge is remarkably snow-free. But we don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to go back to our city, our home, right here. We arrive in 11 hours. We're carrying 102 food, 237 wood, and a core, a steam core. So we'll take that back to our city first. I don't know what happens if you send, if you, like, take the scouts on. Are they allowed, can they carry more? I don't really know how that works at the moment. We can get, uh, build an outpost depot to deploy outpost teams. Oh, that would be pretty good. Some number of scouts reach. We can increase the number of scouting parties we have later on. Right, we're now up to three gravely ill. Four gravely ill. Oh, that's just great. We need to we need to improve. Five great... Four, oh, we're down... Seven? What is wrong with all these people? I don't get how they're getting so ill. This is, this is awful. How are they getting so... Eight gravely ill. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. What is wrong with these people? How are they getting so ill? What's, what exactly is the issue? They're on the brink of death, but there are specialists in the infirmary may still be able to do something. I need to be able to heal them up a bit. I'm thinking we need another infirmary, actually. If we were to build another infirmary, can we spare the people for it? I've got some food rations closed at this time of day. They're still doing that. Um, let's see if we can build another infirmary. I'm thinking that we, we kind of need this. Right, care house. We've got a care house. Up to 20 gravely ill and amputees are cared for, receiving halved food rations. Medical post, five beds, treats the most common ailments. Now, if I take another one of these, and I plonk that one down over there, it's going to need extra people in order to be able to run it. And it's also just used up some wood as well. We need, well, we've got wood coming back. Another six and a half hours, we'll have a load more timber here that we can use. I got one person available. What do we got? Uh, this is the hothouse over here. Now, that's running at maximum capacity, the hothouse is. This one here has got food. It's four food rations. That one should be able to go with just the one person in it, I'm thinking. This, this is what I'm kind of hoping. So I'm going to go on to here. Now, I've got ten people there working on coal production. I'm going to go for another person in there at the moment. We'll ramp that production up a little bit so we get more coal and stuff. We've got research coming in as well. And then I've got... This is being built. Uh, the, the hunters are busy working on that. So the hunters, they sleep by day, but they're also able to do any building projects during the day. And then other people are able to do the stuff at night time. As soon as this is finished... I want to shuffle people around just a little bit and see if I can get a couple more engineers working in one of these. There, that one, that one right there. I've got no engineers available at the moment. I've got in here, I have one engineer. So I could remove the engine. I don't know what it... Is there an advantage to having an engineer in here? Producing up to 80 wood per stand a day. I don't know if there is an advantage. Um, the coal thumper has got one person in it. This over here has got five full engineers on research. I think that having them working on research is 
hugely beneficial. I'm going to take one person out of the hot house, so we are reducing the amount of food that is being produced. And then these over here, I'm going to reduce these down to one person. I'm going to lose one engineer in each of those so that I can put more engineers in here. I've got three engineers in there, which means we've then got room for more patients. And I'm hoping that that will be able to allow me to work through more patients more quickly. Uh, going to treatment, we've got two days on three of them, three days on another one. And then in here, we've got two days and going to treat. I got a lot of them that are going to treatment. I got provide treatment for another 11 people. Find another settlement. So we're working on that as well. We're very close to getting all of these supplies back. So yeah, I don't need another person in there at the moment because we got all these supplies coming back. Plus, we got a load of timber as well. The only... I got five people in... Oh, I didn't change that. Right, here we go. Cookhouse helper. Sir, a group of amputees is here to see you. They want to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit on our asses all day content with just being kept alive. We can't do hard work anymore, but if we fashion some simple prosthesis out of wood, we can help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. Give them what they... What? I can't. Why can't I let them do it? I don't understand. It's not allowing me to do it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why won't it let me do it? You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into the fr into Frostland. Right, why wouldn't it let me do that? I don't understand. Two sick absences. Is there a way that I can do this? Unpopular decision. Is it? Can, I, I want to undo this decision. Book of Laws. Economy. It's crashed. Right, it did crash and it's gone back a bit. Uh, there was an autosave that it did. I think it autosaves at midnight. Um, I'm not really sure why it crashed. I'm not going to build another um, post. We get to do this little bit again. Uh, hang on, I just want to pause a minute. And I want to go up to these. So I explored this. We did that, we read that, we were going to take those resources. This time we've, uh, it's much the same, so we'll take the resources and then we'll send them back to the city and go. So they're going to come back to the city. It's exactly what we did last time. Now, what I also did was... No, I started building another infirmary, didn't I? And then I had people that wanted to come and work in the hothouse and they weren't able to do it and it, it wouldn't let me and I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the number of people that are working here in the hothouse and I'm going to increase the number of people that are working over here for a minute. So I'm going to add in four people over there and then I'm going to go to the sawmill and... Oh, that's fine. There, we're on five of five. This one, I'm going to add in one of those. Uh, an engineer is one of those and I'm going to stick an engineer in over there as well. So I'm hoping that that will allow the, the whole thing with the prosthesis to work. But we'll soon find out. So let's just speed this right up. We, we've already kind of, we've seen what else happened here. Um, we're now on 30 sick and 6 gravely ill people. It's not very good. So let's speed it up again. Let's get back to work. We can't let up now. Yeah, we've got some people that are working longer shifts. We're going to move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. Right, so we've got gathering posts over here. These are all working well. And food there is out. I got the extra people in here. We go. Right, you can disband the scouts. Or you can send them back out again. Right. Uh, so let's slow down. This is the point that we got to. It, it got it got to this point right here. Um and we haven't had that thing with the amputees come up again. So I'm not really sure why that happened. And I, there was also there was supposed to be a thing where we were supposed to be able to make prosthesis for the amputees, and I haven't been able to do anything with that either, which is a bit unfortunate. So let's go back out here. Now, we can go to the Gloomy Cave, which was nearby. We can go to the observatory over here, or we can go all the way over to the Steel Bridge. Now, this is going to take a little while to get all the way out here. Uh, this one's going to be closer. Um, there's smoke over this one, so there may be more people here. So I kind of think we should go to this one first, and then we can go over to this one. And we were a few miles away from a settlement, and I think the Steel Bridge is close to a settlement. We wanted to find another settlement. Uh, but we're going to go, it's 21 hours to arrive there. This one over here is one day and eight hours. I don't know what the, capa the carrying capacity of the scouts is. That's one thing I'd like to find out. So we're going to send those over there. 
and I'm going to unlock when we can another group of scouts but at the moment the whole thing with the people with the prostheses uh, it hasn't had, oh hang on generator range upgrade one researched perfect uh, right so I've got two days and four hours left to treat some people I got uh, 15 people remaining and I got five people here. I've got unemployed five workers. So I can I can put the workers to work in just a minute. We'll we'll we're going to some research first. Generator range upgrade and power upgrade as well, possibly. We could do a charcoal kiln, we could do a sawmill upgrade, a wall drill. That one there takes ten steel. Allows to introduce workplace improvements or raise the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills by twenty five percent. We get more timber for building more things, which would be brilliant because it then means that we're able to get the more timber for building these bunk houses. Now, steel is something that we're going to need. We're desperately going to need steel somehow. Uh, coal mining, and what do we got? Coal mining, charcoal kiln, steam sawmill, steam steel works. That's down there. Oh, steel works is here, look. Uh, extracts iron ore from deep deposits. And process it deliver up to 40 steel per standard workday. So we also want that one to be able to extend things out a bit. Bunkhouse and then more. Well, really, we want stuff with it. I'm, I think, really, we want to go with this one, except I need 25 steel for that. The bunkhouse is going to take up 10 steel. We're going to wait. We're just going to bide our time until we've got two more steel. I'm actually going to go up there onto that one, and I'm going to put those five people that are available just working that steel and we're away Let's speed that up a little bit coal is climbing quite rapidly this is excellent and we've now got sufficient steel that i can start this one add new research so it's this here that i want to do 75 wood and 25 steel upgrade wood is on 229 we're going to need a storage facility for the wood very soon. If you look in here, we've got under resources right there, we've got a resource post. Extend storage capacity for a chosen resource. So you've only actually got increased storage capacity for one resource. I've got 237 wood right now, so I don't need a lot of wood. I can bring this down a bit. I can put... Um, I've got four of ten people working here. I can take an engineer out of there as well. And then I can go to that one and I can increase that up to ten people. And then in the coal one as well, I can increase that if I wanted to. I'm actually going to put them over in here. Put them into the hot house over there. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, hang on. No. Uh, this one here, if I... Oh, it's just engineers that we got in there. i got spare engineers. Let's put this... That's everybody, that's, that's everybody where they can work at the moment. It's about to get colder. This is going to be a problem. It is definitely going to be a problem when it gets colder. It's auto-saving now because it's midnight. So if it does crash again, hopefully we'll be able to rescue it. I really hope that doesn't happen too often. Right, and they got nine hours left there. So we'll speed it right up. I don't see anything else that we need to do right now. Um... It's taking care of the ill. I got 15 people that I still need to take care of. I think, really, we are going to have to... I can't build anything else yet, because I've still got that. Um, have I got anybody working overtime shifts at the moment? Eight until six. I don't think I've got... Uh, just got bad health care for the discontent. That is the only discontent thing we've got at the moment. Let's go into the Book of Laws. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Organ transplant. We could use the body parts of our deceased to save the lives and accelerate healing. This way, the dead can continue to contribute to the survival of our city. The sick recover faster. Um. Okay, we'll do that. I think that's. I think that is a good one to do. I think that is actually going to help us. We'll see. We're going to see if this... I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know at the moment. We'll see if this helps us or not. And we are still researching. I'm not letting anybody cut me up into parts. Not while you're still alive. It doesn't work like that. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. 
At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. So discontent is quite low. I do have five gravely ill and 26 um, ill people. We need to just let it carry on a little bit further so that we've got the overtime shift on here. I got five. No, I don't. That's a coal pile. It's that one. There, I got, I got five people working up there. It's about to get bitterly cold. So we're going to be ramping up our coal production and stuff like that. I'll tell you what. Let's just pause a minute. And I want to build another healthcare post. Health there. I want a medical post. We'll plonk that one in there like that. There. And I'm also going to build some roads while we're at it. And we've got the resources. I'm going to build a road. Actually, why is it not building? There. Build road all the way around there like that. And then also around that one. And along that one as well. So we're down to 189 wood. That's actually okay, I think. I think it's going to be all right doing it like that. Uh, people will come along. They'll use up a load of the wood to do that. They're going to use up some of the materials here on this one. Temperature has fallen. I hope I don't freeze. Right, and it doesn't look like the temperature is going to go back up again. So we're now on minus 40. That means that we need to put that one on so that it'll start working. And uh, none of the others are out of action because of a lack of temperature at the moment. The steam generator, range setting. I see. It's on range setting too. So everything else is within the range of the furnace anyway um, because of the upgrade. We didn't actually have to change anything on it in order to get it to work. So all we want now is for this one to kick into place. As soon as I just speed that up just a tiny fraction. I haven't had the amputees turn up and say they'd like to help me out again. I was hoping that they would. I was hoping that they would actually like turn up and say, look, we, we can do some of this and we can help you out. Now, if I've got those, I now need to... Oh, what's going on? What's this? There's a person. Man from Winterhome. We found an exhausted man on the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winterhome is dead. Everyone is dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. So we're alone. One of our people has died. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. Uh, this isn't what we wanted. How are we supposed to survive if they didn't? Don't panic. We aren't dead yet. We have to learn from their mistakes. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. We should never have left Britain. Uh, hope has... What's happened to my hope? People are upset. Winter home has fallen. They're all dead? How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winter Home spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. I must give them purpose. Choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into chaos. The, con the chaos that consumed Winterhome. A new set of laws will become available. Faith. Order and discipline. We will get the new set of laws for order, or faith and spiritual strength. Which do we go for? Do we go for the spiritual path or the order and discipline path? It's kind of a choice between the church and the military, really. This, this is basically what you're choosing. Is the, the path of the church or the path of the military? Um, I don't know. I know that in, in the past, the UK, they kind of went... Well, they actually did both. Um, but that's no help. I was thinking, let's, let's go on historical um, things and see what they... Order and discipline, faith and... See, I'm not very good at, like, inspiring people, whereas I can give orders. So I'm going for this one. 
purpose? Neighborhood watch. What is neighborhood watch? We need to mobilize and stand together to help people in need and protect them from troublemakers. After introducing this law, another one can't be passed for another day in 12 hours. New building, watchtower. Watchtowers increase the hope of people living nearby. You will have to build two watchtowers. Sigh. Hope law. is... A new law has passed. We were doing so well. We were seriously doing really well. Uh, it seems like a good idea, but I worry where it may lead. A volunteer force would be better. I'm glad we'll have them. We got 27 minutes until the scouts reach their next location. Uh, right, so we're going... I've, I've got that one over there, and I need to move some people around. I've got engineers over here. I got 15 steel now. What did I want on here? Oh no, that one's already working. So we'll go over to the steel and we'll remove some workers from there. I'm going to take three workers out of there and I'm going to put them in here. One, two, three. And I've taken some engineers out of there. I'm then going to take an engineer out of each of these. One from there and one from there as well. And that gives me four engineers to put into there to start caring for more patients. Right. Build and man two watchtowers. Remaining sick people, 16. That one I'm a bit concerned about now because the hope is so low. We need to be able to do something about that. And then I've also got to be able to construct watchtowers. Order the watchtower. Base heating level one, 10 wood and five steel. I've actually got enough to build both of these. So they're not adjacent to streets. Uh, I can build one in there. People want to live nearby to a watchtower, don't they? Let's whiz around over this side a minute. Now, if I put one there, that's going to cover most of the tents that we've got in the city. Put one there like that. And then another one, I've put that one, I've put that um, thing in the wrong place, haven't I? I can put this one over here. That's going to cover two tents. If I put it up there, that's not going to cover anybody at all. I need to get rid... I need to... That one's in the wrong place. Unless I put it there. Nope, that's still in the right place. Right. That's... Most people in the city are covered by this now. I go there. I don't really know what to do. I, uh, you know, I could put it up there. That's... That's not going to help. What's that? If I put it there... That's not quite enough to help either. I can't actually cover all my houses. I didn't realize that having all the houses together would be a benefit. We've got most of them. I can put that one there. We can get most of them. I could always move these houses. I could actually, yeah. Maybe, that's a, maybe that is the answer. Maybe I need to move the tent. So if I go back into building and I go to people and I go to a tent. The tent is 10 wood. I haven't got a lot of space there, but I can put one tent right there. Like that. And then what I can do is I can actually demolish that tent there. That is the one that I want to get rid of. If I demolish that tent, I can use that space for something else. So I want to go into there, and then I want to dismantle building. Salvage eight wood from there. So, people will move around. They're going to have to move house over to here. But that'll be fine. Right. I think that's good. Let's press space. Let's, let's start it going. We've got the scouts are about to come up on something pretty cool as well. And I'll tell you what. I, let me just save the game just in case it goes horribly wrong. We've made a lot of decisions at the moment. Right. We've made important decisions. Let's see what happens now. I've moved things around. I started people doing things. Scouts have reached the observatory. Let's go and have a look. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Survivors! This might be what we need. Instead of astronomers, we're met by some of our lost people. They explained they came here for help but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmospheres by southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Escort the survivors to the city. We get four children, 18 workers, and... Uh, no, eight, 18... Is that eight, 18 engineers? It's a lot of engineers. Some of them may die. Leave the survivors to their fate. Not knowing the way to our city, the survivors will die trying to find it. 
Right, we need to bring them back. We will escort them back, and in 10 hours, we will have more survivors. Which means we're going to have to build more houses. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. So we, we're dismantling a house over here. We could actually do with upgrading our... Um, upgrading our furnace, I think. Let's see what happens over here. Waiting for workers. Remaining time about seven hours. Ah, oh, this one, this one's building over here. Bad stuff is happening. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us. Nonsense. What are we going to do to or what are we going to orderly decide who to eat first when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like winter home. Calm down. We're not going to die. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join in, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead to people, lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace. Give people hope and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Okay, we can do this. The Londoners. Tendency. Many people join the Londoners. Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. We've got 14 days left. Okay, now it's getting This is getting serious. This is getting very serious. Let's speed it up a little bit. I want to get some of these buildings built. We've got a watchtower here. I've got a watchtower here. i got a house being dismantled there. And i got a house over here that people can live in. Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit. I want watchtowers. Which means that I'm going to need to spread people out a little bit. Uh, I got a load of people turning up in just seven hours. I got 332 coal at the moment. I'm going to slow... Uh, what people do I need here? What people do I need in here? Uh, I don't actually think I need engineers. More than half our people live near watchtowers. People feel more hopeful when their neighbours are there to maintain safety and order. Right. Let's put two people in there. It's not great. We'll keep... We'll, let's go through this. So I want... Uh, I'll take a, um, a couple people out of that one. And then I got another house over here. I'll take a couple people out of that one as well. And the hothouse over here, going to take a couple of people out of there. Not removing any of the hunters. The hunters I keep. Just because they, they the hunters work at night. Um, and they can help do... As promised, you built and manned watchtowers to maintain order in a city. Hope rises. This is a good thing. I'm going to have more people in the watchtowers. we got four people in each watchtower is what I want. A minimum of four. And then when the new people turn up, then um, hope will be absolutely brilliant. So that one is being dismantled. That's fine. So let's start speeding it up again. And I could actually build another infirmary over here. And we, yeah, I think another infirmary over here would actually work quite well. And it would also allow me to take care of the ill people. We've got so many sick people at the moment. It's something that I'm seriously concerned about. Let's go back in here. The other thing is, we're supposed to be able to make prosthetics, and I still haven't been able to do that. So there's 25 wood to build that one, and I can plonk that one in there. Now, I've got four of these, so I'm hoping that four sick houses is going to enable people to get better much, much quick, more quickly. Let's speed it up. There's nothing else that we can do for a minute. We've just got, we've literally just got to wait. We've got 18 rations there. I got two people working in here. Uh, waiting for workers. Uh, it's half past three, four o'clock. We've got 137 ordinary food rations, which is fine. 370 coal. People are here in four hours. The end of the day is coming. Drafting machines researched. Let's just pause a minute. Right. Let's go back into here. And we want to go back into new research. Okay, so hunting tactics... There, hothouse insulation, hothouse industrial hothouse will be warmer, plus one heat level. Hunting tactics, hunters will employ fewer people, minus five workers for the same amount. That's really good. Flying hunters, hunters based here hunt every night venturing beyond the city to track their prey from the air. They provide up to 30 raw food per day. Hunters hangers. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that idea. Healthcare, medical post, infirmaries, house of healing and care house will be warmer, plus one heat level. That's a good thing. Infirmary, a steam heated infirmary with 10 beds. The sick are treated faster than in medical posts and the gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. 
It takes a steam core, 20 steel. That's what we need. We need that. So I need five more steel. If I can get that one operational, then we'll be able to dismantle some of the other stuff. I got two people over there. And this one over here is still going. But the shift is coming to an end. I still need five more people. It means I'm going to have to wait until the following day. But tell you what. Let's go over here. Have I got anybody else available? I don't. I'm going to switch that over onto there. I'm going to remove... No, I'm not going to remove I'm going to remove people from this side because they're only doing coal. Take that down. And I'm going to put them in there. Max is going to go up to six. I'm actually going to drop this right down. I want this steel as fast as possible. Put that in there. Right. For space. Let's go. Are you going to get me four more steel before we get to six o'clock? Because they only work until six. Oh, no. They work until eight. It's eight o'clock. You only need to work till eight o'clock. If you can do that, we're fine. And then I can um, take you off with a long shift. 17. Two more hours. Two more hours. If you can just work two more hours and get me that steel. I need three steel. 18. Please do it. Please give me the steel. Please. And then I can I can start research. Oh, actually, it's not going to make any difference, is it? Um, let's just pause that a minute and then go here. Right. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. You have to start the heating. You'll have to start heating of cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Keep them heated for two days. I won't address this. Uh, start heating 10 cold homes within 24 hours. I think all we need to do is ramp up the, um, the furnace. So I ought to be able to do that, and that's going to drastically increase the hope if I can do this. Let's carry on. I just want to keep going until... If they can get one more steel before 8 o'clock, I can then instantly stop and... I need 20... There we go. Right, we got it. Okay. So we can lower that back down again. There. I can take that one off of there. So the discontent will drop back down and they'll be um, happy and cheerful. And then this one here, I can put six people back in there. I had only two over there, didn't I? So let's put another person back in here. There we go. Like that. I've got now the research you can go into the infirmary start the only problem is that I don't have these people working a long shift anyway so that they're at least they're ready for the morning I suppose um, discontent will rise no I don't want discontent rising at the moment right let's go let's carry on uh, oh no what else was that? I said oh, I need to go into here we're out of steel yeah I know that that's not a problem we got the Londoners there hope and discontent doing anything right let's go to here steam level steam level 2 is not yet researched i can go there i've got overdrive which i need to then keep it for two days um i need to warm all the homes make sure at least livable condition in 10 homes this one here because of the minus two weather it's chilly and so i need to upgrade it by one position don't i and I can put it into overdrive, and that puts stress. The gener generator stress will rise. Which means that really I should have been researching generator power upgrade. That's the one that I need. I need to research that one, rather than the one that I'm doing for the healthcare. Oh dear. This, how long does this one take? I need 10 steel for that. Well, I can't do that now. So we're going to have to put the generator into overdrive, and we'll try it this way. So uh, range setting is fine. I can't do steam level 2, but I can do overdrive. There. How long can I leave it in overdrive without the stress going too much? Discontent. Discontent is dropping drastically. Healthcare is doing well. We're on 132% on healthcare. That's pretty good. Right. They've got about a day and two of those. 27 and 3. Healthcare is still taking a long time, though. 19 hours, about it. So I've got five people there that are going to be done in a day. And these patients, they're all about a day. Right, so far, so good. So far, things are looking up. And the scouts are back. You can disband the scouts. Okay, let me just pause them. Now, I've got a load of extra people, which means I've also got extra houses that I have to build. 
And I don't think I've actually got the room to build the houses because the generator range upgrade is not sufficient at the moment and this is going to cause me a problem. Um, what's going on here? Medical post? Why is that medical post not working? I don't know. I'm going to just put max in all of these a minute. Like this. There. And... I'll put an engineer in that one. I'll put an engineer in that one. Put another one in there like that. Another engineer in there. And we're going to here and I will put max for food production. And then on the steel pile over here, I'll increase that. I've still got eight engineers. Oh, hang on. No, I want to put some more people on here, don't I? So let's just lower that back down again. And I want to actually have the people working out here. Um... Let's put some in there, put a couple engineers and more people, an engineer and another one. I've got five people there and then three more engineers in there. There's everybody is assigned a place to work. I got 27 people without a home. And this is going, this is the more serious problem is these 27 people that got nowhere to live. And oh, hang on, I don't need steel for, I just need wood, don't I? So I can put that there that and I can put another one there is that good I think well, I don't know if that's within range or not I got a feeling that that might be a bad place to put it do ho I don't think homes have heaters either do they no so that one there is going to be a problem I may I need to maintain livable conditions in all homes so let's uh, cancel that one I don't want to do that i got to get two more homes in. I might actually be better off getting rid of this one. Uh, do I do it or not? Yes, we're, we're going to have to. If I'm going to have to get rid of that one. I'm going to rebuild the house that was there. Removing that house does turn out... It turns out that that was actually a mistake. So we'll get rid of that one there like that. There's five engineers that I need to reassign. So let's um, put a couple in there and put three in there like that there right everybody has got a job the scouts here now they can go out we've got nothing out that way we've got a gloomy cave there it's this steel bridge that i wanted to go to go there and then we're going to get some more scouts we'll have to do that at some point soon as well so uh technology tree here infirmary that takes the we got one core we got one steam core i actually think that i should abort that what happens if you abort? Do you get the um, resources back? I really think I need to abort that and I need to go to the power upgrade. That will increase the strength of the actual generator. I need a um, range upgrade too is all the way down there so that's no good to me anyway. I need the power upgrade. I've got to have that power upgrade. Alright, let's do it. Abort. What? Oh no! I lost the... Ah! Uh, I lost the steel! I had that steel on there and I've lost the steel because I... Ah! Uh, that was so stupid. I should never have done it! Okay, let's, let's, let's carry on. Let's play through. I can't get anything at night so I may as well just fast forward the night through as quickly as we can. People are getting cold. We've got people in homes. I've got people with somewhere to live. Uh, I dismantled that one in there. I need to build one more home in there. That, this one out here is livable. Oh, they're all livable. Right, okay. So, they're, they're all okay. Stress is increasing. Um, I, uh, oh, hang on. No, this, it was refunded. It was refunded. That's okay. We've got until morning before we need to do this. I'm going to put it in now. I'm going to go with that one there, the power upgrade, because then I don't have to have that one in overdrive. I should be able to do everything normally, and we can get everybody in living conditions, which is good. Caring for the ill, I don't think is going to happen. Right. London has gained more followers. Sir, the people who want to leave for London successfully urge their friends and neighbours to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I see. I see. Yes, I see, I see. See see, see what I did there? Yeah. Okay, that, that was bad. I'll stop now. Um, so I still can't do the infirmary. I've got nobody working in here. Let's have one person in there. I've got 22 food rations. Why is the hothouse not producing food? It should be. 
147 people. Timber is good. Coal should be good. Everything should be good. Everything should be working. 40 and 5 people. It, this is the bit that I'm going to struggle with. The keeping the homes warm, I can do. I'm completely confident that I can do the keeping the homes warm. So let's... Um, to get organized, we have to do something. We're in free time. Uh, we're into normal speed. Now let's slow down a little bit and let's see what we've got. Uh, right. Hope, one promise fulfilled. 89 people are living near a watchtower. I could do with another watchtower over here to sort of cover some of these. They seem all right. We've got more people going into care all the time. Oh, that's my um, supplies. Patience. About a day. About a day. So the problem is we got so many people who are ill. 23 hours. So, yeah, I got a... And the overdrive here on this one is not looking good at all. That is about halfway. I've got to keep these houses warm. And I can't do that until I get steam level 2. Hope at the moment. Sort of staying there. Okay, let's... Uh, no, let's just keep going. How long have I got before this one over one sick absence on there? How long have I got before this is done? Uh... 53%. Does it, t does it tell me how much actual time I've got left to research this one? Speed it up a bit. The stress on this one. Steel wreckage depleted. Okay. Mild frostbite. A citizen has become... Of course they have. They keep getting frostbite. Stop going out in a... Put, put on some warm clothes. Oh, no. Uh, pause there. Right. You. What are you? Time to intervention. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman, and neighbor commented. We're lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. Okay, well, that's good. Bad health... The bad health care is a major problem, but I've got to have this one up. This one's got to be done. Now, what are we on here? We might actually be able to finish... Can we finish this before the end of the work shift? I'm going to move that one up. Even though it's going to raise discontent slightly, I'm moving it up now. I don't want to take any chances. i got to keep a close eye on that one. There we go. That's going up. Go. There we go. Done. Right. Press pause. Right. Generator power upgrade researched. In temperature... Um, let's go... Back into here a minute first. So we've got overdrive couplings. Allows us to raise temperature of all heat zones by two levels when a generator is put into overdrive. Efficiency, there were 10% less coal. Improved heaters. Nope. No, nope, I want this one. I need the infirmary. We've got to research the infirmary. That's got to be our next thing that we research. How long is left on this one? Uh, that takes... Uh, no, there. Oh, yeah. Nine hours to research. So I can, I'm not going to leave them working overtime. I'm going to put them back to standard time so the discontent drops down again. And then we're going to go back into here. We're going to take it off of overdrive and we're on steam level 2. We're burning on steam level 2. This is what we want. 12 coal uh, plus 2 temperatures, a 2 temperature in all heat zones. Right. What? No! No, 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 no! You can't... I, I thought that it was already on Steam Level 2. That's... It, it lied to me. No way! Am I allowed to go back to, like... Oh, no, that was, like, midnight. That's... I, I, it said... It, it's because I, I've... Still need it in overdrive to take it up to there. But now my hope has gone down completely. I was doing it. It was actually working. I would, If I'd known that it would do that, there's no way I'd have switched that one off yet. I'd have let this one carry on ramping up. I mean, you look. Look. We go here. Look. See, it's, it's ramping up now. But I think that I am within my rights to just go and replay that little bit. I think I'm within my rights to go back... Because there's no way I'd have done that if I'd known. So I, I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm going to go back a minute and I'm going to reload and I'm going to do that extra. I'm going to do that bit. I'm going to do this right this time. Right. I reloaded it and I went back and we've just now had this on. I switched that one on to overtime shift. 
and got them working a little bit extra on it so they started earlier and yeah I, I suppose I shouldn't really have done that technically but I, I feel that that is an acceptable thing to do so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add in the correct research now we're going to put that one and we're going to start researching the infirmary which is um this is the way around we need to do it and then we're going to go into here now this one is ramping up I can't switch the overdrive off yet I need to allow the generator to ramp up first let's just look in here I'm glad it ended well we've come to that timely intervention one We've got seven people who are currently homeless. Well, I thought I built an... Oh, I, I forgot to set the other house building in here. That was my... Uh, there's one thing I haven't done in there yet. Um, so we'll set that one building. And right now, I've got the overdrive working on there. And then this one's ramping up. So I should be able to turn... Once this one is all the way up... There, that's up to temperature. Now I should be able to take that one off. The overdrive is off. And we are still doing all right. That is what we were supposed to do. That's how it was supposed to work out. And I feel that that was a perfectly acceptable thing to do, to go back and do that, because there is no way I'd have switched that off. This here, this promise, is really, really important to us. We've got to keep this going. We have to. We've got no choice in the matter. Right, I'm going to max that one out, and I'm going to max those out. I've got... Um, Two more people to put in there so we get an extra timber coming in. And let's just make sure that that one is... Yep, yeah, that one's running full as well. Why is it only 70%? Is there people ill or something? Coal thumper. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, okay, so at the moment, we're working through all right. I've got three people working over there. I'm going to put a couple more up onto there. And also, we've got watchtowers here. I'm going to put an engineer in onto that watchtower. So we got a watchtower in on there. So this one here, the stress level for our machine is coming back down again. We're on steam level two, and everybody is currently warm. So all we got to do is keep this going for another one day and one hour, and then hope will rise considerably because of how that worked out. If I could get more people living near the watchtower, that would be a bit better. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Right. Now we've got the sick people. This is this is the next concern that I've got, is I've got so many sick people in this city. I know we're all living in tents at the moment, and I would very much like to be able to have them living in houses rather than tents. And that is something that we're going to be researching fairly soon as well. And we've got 63 food. We've got 26 raw food there. I've got three people. I'm going to bump that up a little bit now. Um, we got the hot houses providing some food. I'm going to need to do more research into some other bits and pieces. These are working an overtime shift. And hope falls, discontent rises, the sick feel cheated because the healthcare one was broken. Oh, that's just great. Right, uh, lower that down. People are desperate. Talking openly about overthrowing you, bereft of hope, there's no future for our city, and they blame you for that. What should we do? Send guards to silence them requires an active guard station. As the faith keepers require the faith keepers, we must hold on for a couple more days. You have two days to raise hope. Convince people to trust you once again. Raise hope to 15%. Oh dear. I broke a promise because of the healthcare thing. The healthcare is such an issue. I'm researching healthcare right now. I got people working overtime on this. Um... Discontent is high because of bad healthcare. Hope, one promise broken. Uh, oh no, we're not on overtime at the moment. Right, that's that's okay. I'm, I'm happy for it to stay not on overtime. 16 hours left, low coal. Got nine people there. See, this coal pile here is 450. This one here is uh, whacking the coal out. So we're, we're all right at the moment for the coal. And then we've got a load of timber here. We've got 165 timber. This is just going to slow things down a little bit. So I'm actually going to drop two engineers out of there. I'm going to drop some people out of there. So I've got five. I've got food there. That one is at maximum. Introduce a new law. Let's just pause everything a second. Um, all the infirmaries are at full whack, aren't they? Right. Let me look into here. That one's uh, completely full. That one's completely full. This one here, I can put two more people in there. So i got more coal coming in. Um... I can put another... I, I don't really need another person in that one. That one is full. I kind of need some more... 
where, where can I put some extra people? I could put some more people working. Actually, I could probably put more people working on steel. And I've got engineers here as well. Let's just stick two engineers in there for a minute. We've got an infirmary that we're um, going to be making fairly soon. And keep the houses warm for another 22 hours. Let's go. We'll do this overnight. The scouts will get to their next location overnight as well. Hope is starting to rise. One promise broken. Discontent, a promise, uh, bad healthcare. It's the bad healthcare. We've got no gravely ill people. The Londoners have got more followers. Scouts have reached the bridge to winter home. The Londoners gain more followers. Right, so the scouts are over there on the bridge. A brass plaque on the bridge reads, built by the people of winter home in AD 1887. The bridge is completely snow free by a work kept snow free by a working automaton. We get an automaton. Explore. We stop the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marvelling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so, at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway, it'd be possible to send a machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Sites discovered weather station and a large convoy. The automaton will safely reach our city on its own. Turn it off and dismantle it to get two steam cores and 89 steel. I'm going to send this one to the city. I got a feeling that that might actually raise hope. We reprogrammed the automaton center on its way. As it disappeared in distance, working steadily towards our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. I got a feeling we are going to be pleased about that one. Right, we've got a large convoy over here, several vehicles and tents. We can see people moving between them, a smoke rising from a campfire. A tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof. It's most likely a weather station set up by scientists from Winterholm. Now, do I go to the weather station? 16 hours to arrive there, 13 hours, okay, 13 hours we go there. That's the one that we're going to go to, and this one right here is on its way back. It's another day and 18 hours to get there, okay. Let us continue, ooh, we got trouble. Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winter Home proved we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out, hopeful, slightly. We already know that Winter Home is dead. Why am I now losing more hope? This is not good. One sick due to absence and one sick due to absence. They are currently receiving health care. We're 43 sick people. I've run, I really have run out of time. I have absolutely run out of time. We have to get organized. We have to do something. All our work will be for nothing. If we leave, I'm staying. 23 Londoners. There's a strong tendency for people to join the Londoners at the moment. Fast game speed. Let's go to very fast. We can speed up and get past 8 o'clock. And people will start working. Right. Work time. Get Keep the homes warm. I've got infirmary researched. Pause. Coal is low. I've got to do something about this coal. I got um, the coal situation keeps becoming a problem. I keep get. I think people are uh, going off and doing other things, and then coming back. Let's drop that down by a couple and get more people working on the coal here. And then this one here. Let's drop down a couple of engineers and a worker as well. So we got four people there. And then I go to this gathering hut here that and I put another person in there this one is now on 10 of 10 that's on 10 okay so we've, we've got the maximum people in there convince people right that's doing pretty good we've also got the infirmary research that's what I'm gonna build next that is I no. hang on before we do that we want to use our resources first to do more research healthcare insulation it's just plus one heat level Hunter Tactics. Hunter's Hut will employ fewer people for the same food. They'll be warmer. We've got the hot house there. Uh, industrial hot house. I don't really know what... Uh, bunk. I haven't researched a bunkhouse yet. That's. I've got to have the bunkhouse. That's got to be the next one. I need better housing. Better housing all round. Um, we got 8 hours and 22 minutes before we get the... Um, that bit and the hope will start. This is a perfect point to stop. I think it's a perfect point to stop. I've already run over a bit more than I intended to. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.